All right, we have a Dell laptop here with a uh, DC jack problem that was described to us by the user. So what we're going to do is plug this in and see what happens. We have power indicator right here. The actual laptop feels like it just turned its whole entire self on, which is kind of different. We'll have to see if that's actually the case. I hear feel things running. You see the hard drives running. We've got a we had a battery light for a second. You can still feel the hard drive. So uh this is very different. Never seen anything quite like that. Plug a power adapter in, especially on one that's uh bad. And it turned itself on, so uh, we'll have to hook this one up to the external water and see what we see. Uh, see if we can't get anything out of it. Of course, we have a power going to it. And it seems to be turned on. That was when we just plugged it in. So, let's see what, let's see what we get when we hook the external water up to it. So, our external here, we've turned it on. We have it turned on. We'll plug this up to it and see where it goes. So we plug that in and imagine we have uh, we've got external video on a system that has a DC jack problem. Now it's saying that it cannot determine the 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 adapter that's plugged in, but it is a actual Dell adapter. It's the correct adapter that goes to it. Uh, so uh, this is going to be one of those deals where I think it may, in the end, be a chipset problem, even though it is a new Dell system. So what we're going to do is turn this off and check it and see if the actual uh, power adapter port is bad on it and then go from there and see what we find okay to see if this uh, does anything we're going to uh, reflow it and see if that changes the uh, aspect and behavior of the system uh, given that this is a newer i5 system we're going to see if this actually uh, changes the way it acts and changes the way it does where it actually turns on by itself and uh, does certain things by itself. So what we're going to do is preheat it I'm going to get up to temp and then we're going to uh, press the press the button and let it heat up the light and see what happens. Alright so we've put the system back together we're turning it on and since we reflowed it, we had the video on the screen perfectly fine. Um, we may or may not get an error for a power adapter. We didn't get an error for the power adapter before we had gotten an error for the power adapter. Uh, we know that uh, some of the controls for the low-level processes are handled uh, by the chipset. And if the chipset's kind of going out we know that um, you know that causes issues like that uh, with the auto sensing so we have uh, we have our user uh, log in like that we don't know anything for that so we're not gonna handle that what we're gonna do is uh, restart the system And then go into the BIOS to check all the other functions and see what's going on. Now, the power adapter uh, sensing deal that is linked to uh, it's linked to the uh, uh, chipset sometimes, like we said before. So let's see if we got battery information right here. 
says that it's charging the battery. We know that it's doing it. So what we're going to do is unplug this. It says discharging. We have our adapter right here. And we'll plug it back in and see what happens. Now we know it goes right back to charging the battery. So this is a pretty good uh, indicator that the system is actual repaired. We go like this and plug it out, plug it back in, or muscle it back in. It's charging the battery. It says it's charging the battery. So we know that it's a good sign that we've got this one actually repaired. Um, and we'll call it finished. That'll be that.